Looking ridiculously awesome playing Quidditch on the field, or creating flyers and posters for the game on the sidelines. Which sounds better? To a lot of us, both do, just at different times. For instance, you just downed a huge monster energy drink. Chances are, Quidditch sounds pretty epic. Just got home from work? You definitely feel like relaxing and winding down with a bit of sketching. Both are pretty creative and slightly nerdy, in the best way possible. Many creative people are a mixture of both extroversion, being bold, outgoing, and a social butterfly, and introversion, being quiet and enjoying time alone. For them, a mixture of the two is good, because being creative can require you to go out and explore, as well as spend lots of quiet working time at home. To sum up the two personality types, extroversion is when people feel very energized by social interactions and have difficulties being alone for long periods of time. On the other hand, introversion is when people feel energized by being alone. While they do enjoy social interaction, they can only handle it for so long before having to spend some time alone to recharge. Recent studies show that extroverts who crave the company of others release more dopamine, a hormone that helps you stay alert and remain focused. This hormone helps keep extroverts on their feet and able to do the heavy lifting and grunt work that goes along with fantastic ideas. Introverts, on the other hand, do better in silence, running over ideas in their heads, working things out on paper, and thinking things through. Introverts are better planners due to their love of alone time and spend plenty of time pondering the ups and downs of ideas. A plus of being an introvert is being detail-oriented, preventing themselves from making mistakes in the future. Mix the two together and you have a perfect combination. When it comes to the health of the earth, both attitudes are necessary. To oversimplify, introverts can generate new ideas, make plans, and help quietly, while extroverts can implement those plans, think quickly on their feet, and make use of their great energy. In this sense, the world runs on both personality types. Though studies and research on the internet constantly say that creative people are simultaneously extroverted and introverted, it's not always true. Many shy people are extremely creative and have produced some amazing things. Extroverts, in addition to helping introverts achieve their dreams, met many of their own creative goals as well. So what personality type are you? Extroverted? Introverted? Or both? How do you think this affects your creative process? Let us know in the comments below! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our website and other social media for more content. And don't forget to subscribe! Thanks for watching!